So I'd first of all like to say it's my privilege and pleasure to welcome everybody to the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between Gratz College in Philadelphia and Carleton University in Ottawa. To start off, I'd like to acknowledge the Algonquin Nation, whose traditional and unceded territory that those of us at Carleton University are gathered upon today. I would like to take a moment to recognize the efforts of one of Carleton University's previous chairs of the Board of Governors, Mr. Jacques Shore, for making the initial introduction. Thank you very much. Thank you for making this possible. In addition to Mr. Shore, we are delighted to have his brother, Mr. Justice Michelle M. J. Shore, with us today to witness the signing of the MOU. Thank you to both of you for attending. Given these uncertain times, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone for being so accommodating in regard to holding this ceremony virtually. I look forward to the time I can invite you all to Carleton and give you a tour and take you around. <laughs> Um, nothing can replace the experience of being in person, but it is important that we remain flexible and we continue our important work. Thinking about our two schools, it becomes apparent that we share one common value, welcoming students and faculty from all backgrounds and places to properly reflect the world we live in. Working to create a community of inclusivity and interconnectedness where people's differences are celebrated rather than criticized, often leads to academic excellence and the overall bettering of our society. Uh, Dr. Finkelman, why don't you start and then we'll have uh, Dr. Beckham. Well, I'm Paul Finkelman. I'm the president of Gratz College and uh, it's fabulous and wonderful to be here. And as everybody I think knows, while I am not Canadian, I grew up within 20 minutes of the border and had been to Ottawa about five times before I ever got to Washington, D.C. <laughs> and I have taught in both uh, Ottawa and in Saskatoon. So uh, th this is personally very meaningful to me. I was actually living in Ottawa when grads offered me the presidency of the college because I was on a Fulbright in Ottawa at the time. So this is just a wonderful completing the circle. Benoit? Uh, Dr. Finkelman, it's such a pleasure to meet you finally. Uh, I've heard uh, so much about you from our uh, common friend, uh, Jacques Shore. Jacques, always good to see you. Eh? Thanks for bringing everybody together today. Uh, it's a great pleasure. Thank you. It's an honor. Uh, I'm Benoit Antoine Bacon. I've been the president of Carleton for almost three years uh, now. I'm. Uh, uh, a neuropsychologist by trade and profession, uh, and uh, a Montrealer by birth. Nice to meet everybody. Thank you. Uh, Jacques, why don't you introduce yourself and then we'll have your brother. Thank you. Well, um, very briefly, because I know we want to be brief so we can get into the agenda, but I really appreciate being here. I have the, the, the great distinction of having been on the board of governors for 13 years, and as a past chair, I take great pride in, in the university. And um, I'll say more in my remarks, but this is a very special moment for me, how grateful I am that, uh, that we are here together like this. Um, in, my, in my work, in my practice, um, uh, it's very much related to what we can do together in many ways to, to improve, uh, to improve uh, efforts. And I think this is a really good example of improving ourselves and others too. So thank you. Maybe I'll ask uh, Kathy Elias to introduce yourself and we'll get back to honor. Hi, I'm, I'm Kathy Elias. I'm the acting chair of the Board of Governors of Gratz College. And my um, relationship with Gratz College goes back 20 years. Um, when I, be, way before Gratz College was even an online institution, I was working in the building. I was part of the community. I received my Master's of Arts in Jewish Studies at Gratz College in 2009. It helped me determine my, literally my professional path. And um, I was so honored to be asked to join the Board of Governors and now I've moved into the position of acting chair. Thank you. Ruth, why don't you go next? And then we'll go to Deirdre. Okay, hello, I'm Ruth Sandberg. Um, I have the distinction of being the longest serving faculty member at Gratz currently. Um, I've been a professor at Gratz for over 30 years, um, and I'm involved in many different facets of the college. Obviously, Jewish studies is, is uh, the foundation of the college, 
but I'm also the program director for Jewish Christian studies, interfaith studies, um, masters in Jewish professional studies, and our new human rights program. Thank you, Deirdre. Um, I'm Deidre Butler. I'm the director of the Zelikovit Center for Jewish Studies here at Carleton. I'm also an associate professor in the religion program in the College of Humanities where I'm a Jewish studies specialist where I teach a little bit of everything, but I'm particularly interested in contemporary Judaism. Uh, and I came here to Carleton 14 years ago from Montreal, so I'm a fellow Montrealer. Now I will take a minute to let Honor introduce herself now that she's back with us. Yeah, sorry. Um, my name is Honor Moore, and I'm the Dean of the College at Gratz College, and I'm thrilled to be with you all today. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to start off. Uh, shortly, we'll hear from Dr. Ruth Sandberg from Gratz College and Dr. Deidre Butler from Carleton University, who will speak about this new academic partnership and the nature of our future work together. This will be followed by a few words from, as we rearrange things, uh, Dr. Paul Finkerman, Finkelman and Dr. Benoit Antoine Becon. We will then do the official signing and then we will hear a few words from Mr. Jacques Shore. Uh, I just want to again, welcome everybody. Thank you all for being here and thanks to everybody who made this possible. So I will turn it over to Ruth to say a few words. Thank you very much. I'm really delighted that Gratz College and Carleton University are signing a Memorandum of Understanding today. As a small institution, Gratz values academic partnerships that can enrich our students' learning opportunities in significant ways. In return, we would like to offer Carleton University access to several special aspects of Gratz College. One is the opportunity to utilize our Holocaust oral history archive, which is a special collection in our library and a contributing organization to the US Holocaust Memorial Museum Research Institute and also to Yad Vashem. The archive houses one of the largest collections of audio tape testimony in the US including interviews with nearly 900 survivors, liberators, resistance fighters, and rescuers who personally experienced the Holocaust. We have also been honored with housing the Lena Allen Shore collection, which includes all her books and papers and a large personal library with many volumes on the Holocaust and genocide which we would love to share with Carleton. We also look forward to having Carleton access the full Tuttleman Library at Gratz. The library houses approximately 80,000 items, including books, periodicals, sound recordings in various formats, films, and rare books. And it is utilized throughout the world as a Jewish resource for research and scholarship. Gratz College also has hosted a summer institute on campus for many years, where online students have had the opportunity to interact with their fellow classmates and their professors in person. Starting this summer, we changed the format of the summer institute for obvious reasons, so that it is now a hybrid of asynchronous online learning and real-time learning on Zoom. We look forward to discussing ways in which Carleton might partner with us for our Summer Institute. We are also eager to take advantage of what Carleton has to offer us, including ways in which our students can interact with each other, ways in which our faculty members can partner with each other, and ways in which grads can become regular participants in the many notable lectures and discussions offered through the Max and Tessie Zelikovich Center for Jewish Studies at Carleton. And I actually took advantage of one of those recently. <laughs> there are many ways in which our institutions can benefit from each other's strength, strengths, and we look forward to the next steps in our collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Deidre. Thank you. 
It is my distinct pleasure to join you today to mark this milestone in this promising partnership with Gratz College. The Max and Tessie Zelikovic Center for Jewish Studies is uniquely positioned here in Canada's nation's capital to bring together parliamentarians, public servants, diplomats, NGOs, international organizations, as well as other academics and the broader community on the basis of the innovative teaching and research conducted by over 70 Carleton faculty, instructors, and graduate students, as well as 45 external research affiliates from across Canada and internationally. We look forward to Gratz faculty and graduate students joining the Zelikovic Center as research affiliates contributing to Jewish studies at Carleton and in the larger community through research and teaching, engaging with us through conferences, presentations, and workshops, and enjoying access to our own extensive library resources. From our first conversations with Gratz leadership, we have found true colleagues. Over Zoom meetings, our conversations overflow every scheduled meeting as we share what we are doing in our online teaching during the pandemic, how we imagine all of the future projects where we might collaborate and the exciting ways that we can connect. I have been delighted that even in advance of today's signing, we are already welcoming members of the Gratz community to join us in online Zoom lectures that have become so critical to sustaining a vibrant scholarly community in these times. We look forward to strengthening that community by engaging with Gratz faculty and students through a variety of venues. We anticipate a time when travel can resume, exploring how they might partner with us for our Israel travel course that brings students to Israel to explore 5,000 years of history and culture in a land that is so central to so many faiths. We hope that their faculty and students will continue to engage with us through our online offerings, including an upcoming film screening in honor of Holocaust Remembrance Day on January 27th, and our co-hosting of the Canadian Society for Jewish Studies annual conference in May. We are already thinking about how grad students can contribute to the annual Zelikovic Center interdisciplinary conference, which will be held in April, 2021. The realities of the current pandemic have challenged all of us to reimagine the academic project of teaching and research. We have learned to collaborate better because we must, but unexpectedly, delightfully, we have found ourselves inspired and motivated in exciting new ways with new colleagues and new friends. Thank you, therefore, to Jacques Shore. You made this shidduch, this match between our two institutions in honor of your mother and with a vision to strengthen us all you have truly made her legacy a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Deirdre. Dr. Finkelman, please go next. Well, it's a delight to be here and it is a delight to be building this international cooperative uh, venture. Uh, Gratz is in the process of celebrating its 125th anniversary. We began in 1895 and I can think of no more fitting way to end our anniversary year than with a collaboration with Carleton, with a Canadian university, and through the intervention of Jacques, who uh, brought us all together and is really the glue that put this project in motion. Uh, to give you an idea of the interconnection Today, I was meeting with my librarian to discuss how we are going to not only process some of the papers of Jacques Mothers, including letters written from Poland in Polish in 1942 by members of his family, which, were, which may not be unique, but are certainly extremely rare to have the voice of Jews inside Poland in 1942. Um, and while I was talking to my librarian, who should call me but Jacques Shore. Uh, so uh, I thank Jacques, I thank President Becon, I thank your staff, I thank my own staff because Ruth and Honor have worked very hard uh, to put all this together and it is wonderful. I just wanna say a couple of more things about what we do at Gratz. We are not like Carleton, a large university. In fact, I have figured out that you are at least 100 times larger than we are, maybe more. Um, but we have very important niche programs. We teach Hebrew and we teach Yiddish online. 
And uh, for universities that don't have those programs, we can teach your students just as we teach our own students. The beauty of our asynchronous online education is we can teach anybody anywhere in the world. Our Holocaust PhD program has students in Vietnam, in Germany, in Israel, in Colombia, in Canada. Uh, we have a student in Toronto who is a refugee from Sri Lanka, who is a Catholic priest in Toronto, taking Holocaust studies at the oldest independent Jewish college in North America in Philadelphia. Uh, this is truly an international world, and we're delighted to be part of this. In addition, as Ruth mentioned, she has started a new program in human rights at Gratz, where you can get both a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in human rights. And I could easily see down the road Carleton students getting a bachelor's or a master's from Gratz while they're getting their own degree from Carleton. There is no reason why we can't collaborate in these ways. Ruth also leads our program in interfaith leadership, which is vital for the future of the world. And of course, she is integral as our number of other people at Gratz in our Jewish studies program. So the opportunities for collaboration are huge. They're important. They're international. And uh, I'm just delighted that this is moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Becon. Thank you very much, uh, Karen. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Finkelman, for your very gracious remarks. It's a, it's a real pleasure to be here and to, to meet everyone uh, virtually, though, of course, I'd much prefer to have everyone on our beautiful campus uh, for coffee, lunch, and, uh, and a live signing. Uh, let me start by thanking Jacques Shore, our, our common friend, for bringing us together uh, today. Uh, that, that's really much appreciated, Jacques. You're such a, you're such a wonderful friend of Carlton, and to me personally, and uh, I appreciate everything that you do uh, for us. And uh, uh, it's, it's so exciting to see uh, that uh, both uh, Gratz and Carlton are already working so actively to bring this partnership uh, to life. Uh, Ruth and Deidre really appreciated your remarks about how uh, conversations are already vibrant because that's how partnerships are built. We can sign MOUs, but at the end of the day, it's the work uh, that matters. So thank you, thank you for that. Uh, Dr. Finkelman, you have mentioned we, we, are, we are a large place, about 32,000 students uh, today uh, at Carleton, including about 5,000 international students. So we are a, a, an internationally impactful uh, place. Um, about $80 million a year in research funding flows uh, through Carleton that was just announced uh, uh, today. And uh, we have ambitions uh, to uh, continue to grow uh, that important and, and impactful uh, research work. The important partnership that we're <clears throat> celebrating today focused on Holocaust studies helps to fulfill a number of our objectives. Uh, I'm thinking about our recently approved strategic integrated plan, our new international strategic plan, uh, Karen, uh, that you just uh, finalized, and uh, our brand new equity, diversity, and inclusion uh, plan uh, as well. So that it's really timely uh, that we uh, have the opportunity to partner with, uh, with Gratz uh, today, and, and we're really honored uh, to have been selected as partners uh, by such a prestigious institution, uh, the oldest independent and pluralistic college for Jewish studies uh, in North America. This, uh, this adds to uh, the long list of prestigious partnerships that we enjoy uh, in the US and we're truly, truly grateful for your trust. Um, you know, over the past four years, our Carleton researchers have collaborated with over 350 American institutions, uh, resulting in over a thousand uh, peer-reviewed uh, publications. Uh, we very much look forward uh, to add to this list uh, in the, the domain of Holocaust studies uh, with the, in partnerships with the great researchers uh, at, uh, at Gratz. We're really confident uh, that this important partnership will benefit our students. Uh, it was wonderful, Ruth, to hear you list all the wonderful resources that will be uh, available to our students, faculty, and staff. Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, faculty exchanges, important publications, funding opportunities, and, and international impact on such an important theme, Holocaust uh, studies. So uh, I wanted to be here personally. Uh, I'm so grateful for everyone involved in, in bringing this partnership to fruition. Uh, Jacques, 
yourself, Dr. Finkelman, uh, the researchers on both sides, and I'm very excited to sign uh, this MOU today. Thank you. So if you will both get out your pens, uh, it is now time to do the official signing. Please sign both copies. Carlos, are you capturing this with a few uh, a few pictures? You're, you are awesome. I, I am getting ready, yes. Just give me yeah. one second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm ready whenever you are. All right. All right. Everybody smile. Look up. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Very good. Great. Wonderful. And now that you both finished up, oh, uh, Benoit is still signing. Thank I you. wish you could exchange copies and uh, and complete uh, the signatures on all the copies. <laughs> so now I'd like to uh, turn it over to uh, to Jacques to well, say a few words. We have virtually done that. We live in a virtual world until such time as we can all come up to Ottawa and uh, have that coffee. We've made we've made a lot of advances also in the law. These virtual signing are just as good as any execution face to face. So how great that is. But if I can, if I can begin and say first of all, what a, what a distinct honor and pleasure, and I I really have a lot of emotions that are running through me. So let me just begin how how I would like to share some thoughts. So distinguished presidents Bacon and Finkelman, associate vice president Karen Schwartz, Dr. Ruth Sandberg, Dr. Butler, my dear brother Justice Michelle Shore, who I'm so happy is here with us today. Uh, Mr. Carlos Vargas, and um, and also chair, the acting chair of, of grads. Um, how wonderful. I know that's a big job to be in the role of a chair of a board and, and other friends participating today. I must begin, again, I have to say how much I thank President Benoit Antoine Bacon and President Paul Finkelman, and then Dr. Sandberg and Dr. Schwartz, because without all of you today, the MOU between Carlton and grads would not be possible. I may have shared the thought, I may have put that forward, but clearly, I know this was a significant effort and I am so grateful and I'm confident that the effort will reap important benefits for students, for the administration, for the faculty and beyond. As a past chair of Carleton's board, I am mindful as well, because I've signed these MOUs in, the, MOUs in the past and I know MOUs require commitment and continued focus so that the intentions identified ensure that the institutions grow together from the combined areas of excellence identified. I come to grads through my loving late mother, as, as has been said, Professor Dr. Lena Allen Shore, who taught at grads through her own Lena Allen Shore Center for the Advancement of Human Potential. She was there for more than 30 years. And I know how much my mother added to grads and her thousands of students, her writings and her work in the fields of philosophy, history, and in Holocaust studies was a foundation to many of the programs we see today at grads and beyond. I appreciated your words, Dr. Sandberg. I am so proud that Carleton recognizes the value of partnering with such a special institution as grads. I attended the virtual gala celebration of grads' 125th anniversary the night before last. Dr. Finkelman spoke so beautifully and indicated that grads is, and I quote, a reporter of the past and its goal is to prepare and create for the future. He added that it is always our hope that academic institutions shine a light on our past to make for a brighter and better future. When I look at Carleton University, which was founded in 1942 and created to respond to the needs of the community then, I see the same link of principles and wish for humanity. Carleton's first president, Henry Marshall Torrey said, I learned very early in the life lesson that it's people, not buildings, that make up an institution. And we put our hearts to it. If we put our hearts to it, we can do something worthwhile. I end quote. How remarkable this view, especially as we see the incredible value of these two institutions working together in the environment of a virtual e-learning. It is indeed the people that make the institution and it is now the technology that enables the people to work together in ways we could not have imagined before by Rebecca and Hyman Gratz and Henry Marshall Torrey. This effort gives Gratz a leader in university e-learning and Carleton 
an unbelievable opportunity to work together, to strengthen its programs together online, and to engage students, not only in Ottawa and Philadelphia, as we've said already, or in Canada, the United States, but students and faculty around the world. The world needs more focus on subjects that will initially be addressed by Gratz and Carleton, together addressing Holocaust and genocide studies. And from the perspectives of what we, of what can be offered from both universities together is extremely important as we move forward and contribute to a world that is better. We will soon see the globe inoculated with a vaccine to ward off COVID-19. It is not so simple to ward off racism, hate and prejudice, but through such collaborative programs and courses between Carleton and Gratz and offered to students, it is my hope today's MOU will be a marker as an important step in studying and coming together on critical issues so that we can contribute to a more respectful, gentle world and just society. Education is most important, the most important antidote for eliminating hate and battling the ignorance that is harmful to our vulnerable communities. Carlton's Crest motto reads, and I discuss this often with, with my friend Benoit Bacon. It reads, ours the task eternal. I've always been motivated by these powerful words, and I know that all those here today feel that. I believe we will even more so be motivated as a result of today's signing between two extraordinary institutions of learning. Two institutions who, ha who have chosen an important field to grow together and whose founders were deeply ingrained in the task of doing good from their communities and who looked out into the world for inspiration and with a commitment to add value towards a better tomorrow. Now the work begins. Now the dividends can accrue by working together. Both institutions stand to do that much more from this new collective effort. Ours, the task eternal. And here for good resonates with us on these next steps. I really thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I, again, I just want to thank uh, the Carlton team and I want to thank Honor and Ruth uh, for all of their hard work. And, and also I want to thank Elisa for thank uh, turning out a press release in record time uh, so that uh, both Carlton and Gratz can issue a press release today because um, this is- Thank you, Elisa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jacques, thank you for um, for being the uh, the end of the matchmaker here. I'm glad to do that. Anytime. We look forward to we look forward to seeing the fruits of this labor. Let's put it that way. Then now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. If I may, All the best. Uh, thank you so much to you and to the whole uh, Gratz team. Uh, and again, uh, Jacques, uh, wonderful uh, always to see you. And thank you for bringing us all together. Uh, this was lovely. Thank you. Uh, well done, Karen and, and Carlos, in uh, coordinating uh, a Zoom signing in the, uh, uh, in the year 2020, which is almost coming to an end, unbelievably. Uh, let's all hope that 2021 uh, be a little bit better. Absolutely. Benoit, thank, thank you. you so much. Again, mon ami, merci beaucoup. Thanks. All the best. Merci beaucoup.